This is problem number one from section 5.4. Uh, they're asking you to evaluate the following integral. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start out by distributing the 5x to each term. So when I distribute there, I'm going to still have the integral from 0 to 2 because I haven't found the antiderivative yet. All I've done is distribute to get 5x squared minus 10x dx. Now I'm actually going to do the inter integration, the antiderivative. When I do the antiderivative of this, I end up with 5x cubed, right? Add 1 to the power, divide, divided by 3, minus 10x squared divided by 2. And I'm going to be checking this from 0 to 2. I do a little simplifying here, so I end up with 5x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared. We're looking from 0 to 2. Now let's go ahead and plug in the 2 and the 0. So 5 times 2 cubed over 3 minus 5 times 2 squared minus 5 times 0 cubed over 3 minus 5 times 0 squared. We can start to evaluate these. 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 5 is 40 over 3. 2 squared is 4 times that is minus 20. This is just going to give you 0, so we end up with 40 over, Q, oh, 40 over 3 minus 20 minus 0, so I don't even need to write that. Let's find a common denominator here, 40 over 3 minus 60 over 3 gives you negative 20 over 3. And that's our answer.